Hello friends, we have reached to the last date of Accenture of Campus exam that means 23rd July. But there is a rumor spreading that uh, Accenture is going to conduct the exam for those who actually could not uh, choose their slots. But uh, this is a news just uh, and this is actually spreading very much. But uh, don't uh, rely upon that. Uh, Accenture mainly conduct their exam six months uh, after each six month. So maybe after six months they will again conduct the exam. But uh, if you are watching this video, then obviously this video always help you to print any type of pattern. So let's try to solve the problem. Uh, here is is the question is print the pattern that is X type pattern, but uh, there is no input uh, the system automatically gives input but i i will uh, input uh, manually here uh, the x pattern is printed here but how is this actually working i am mentioning look here there is sorry one two three four five five columns there and one two three four five five rows also there so five into five that means uh, the the column into row is 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 five into five here where are the stars printed and where are the spaces printed look carefully here it is one cross one and this is five one cross five okay and this you know, the the star are printed where this is two this is two cross two and this is two cross four and this is three cross three this is uh, four cross two and this is this is uh, this is 4 cross 4 and this is 5 cross 1 and this is 5 cross 5 okay then what are you actually um, uh, observing in this problem look where are the uh, star printed 1 cross 1 or 5 cross 5 or let's say uh, 1 cross 5 or 5 cross 1 let's say 3 cross 3 let's say 2 cross 4 or 4 cross 2 look here if the value of i and value of j is equal to is equal to is equal to then the star are actually printing and and uh, where the i and j plus uh, uh, summation is 6 i plus j is equal to 6 i plus j is equal to 6 there are the stars are printing so i think you have got the point now let's try yourself to solve the problem then come to watch I will take one input that's why scanner c is equal to or let's say I, I will not take uh, input I will just take rows that is in is equal to 5 and um, um, I will run for two for loops sorry one yes two for loops one for loops for rows and one for loops for uh, other elements okay so for int i is equal to z1 or 0 you may give both of them one of them i'm telling what is equal to n i less than i sorry i plus plus if you give uh, give here 0 then you have to go out up to only less than and 
and if you give one then less than equal to because less than does not include the in but less than equal to include the in okay and uh, for int j is equal to 1 j less than equal to n and j plus plus okay look here this for loop is actually print the rows and under these rows this this will be occurred if what we have watched here that if the i is equal to is equal to j or i plus j is equal to is equal to 6 then we are printing the stars okay otherwise we are printing what otherwise we are printing spaces okay if i is equal to is equal to j or i plus j is equal to 6 then we are printing the stars but you have to give only print because if you give print ln then it will print uh, li new lines so it will be uh, it will not give actual output okay otherwise what otherwise otherwise print the spaces this for loop is okay but after this for loop you have to print new line because uh, because uh, this for loop is printing line so inside the for this for loop this is actually belonging so a new line will be printed okay so let's try Oops, what happened to it? What happened to it? What happened? What happened? I oh sorry, sorry, sorry. You have to give only print here. Okay, let's try. Look here, this is actually printed. <laughs> now uh, it is your turn to make another problem, another input, another solution. If you give 6 then it will be also okay it will give another <laughs> this is look like stars in the sky okay i think you have got the point and the logic and you can uh, print any other pattern if you wish because you can you, you are now able to uh, summarize the problem where are the print where are the stars are printing just point it out the column and row then then uh, sum them or divide them or any other mathematical operation upon them then you will you will, you will able to solve the problem okay thank you